What is up YouTube, that's it here, and today I'm bringing you guys an announcement video talking about the brand new VGC 2020 Season 6 Double Battles, I guess, and technically Singles Battles Rules that just got announced. For those of you guys that don't know, they actually like to switch up the Pokemon VGC rule set every month or so on the ladder. You know, every once in a while they'll add new G-Maxes or, you know, they'll add the Isle of Armor Pokemon. This time, TPCI is going to mix it up and make it so the most popular top 10 Pokemon that were like busted and the meta was centered around in the VGC 2020 format on the ranked Master Ball ladder are not going to be allowed. What you need to do to download these rules to test them for yourselves, which will be going into effect on September 1st, is go into the Battle Stadium, go to download the rules. It'll download all the rules you could ever even want. And uh, I've already downloaded the rules. We're going to look at them right here. It says uh, it's just regular doubles battles and singles, respectively. If you're going to be playing singles, it's the same thing. But just with, uh, you know, that battle spot singles, bring six, pick three. And uh, the way it's going to be working is, uh, you know, certain Pokemon that were usable in Series 5 and popular in Season 8. Remember, Seasons and, like, the uh, Serieses are a little bit different. The Serieses are the official rule sets uh, that they make every few months. But anyways, let's go actually check this one out. Let's press X to check out the details. And uh, it's going to show you some of the Pokemon that are Weagle and some of the Pokemon that aren't. So it's going to take you to its website. So uh, let's see. So eligible in Series 5, it shows like things like Terrakion, Virizion, and then like some of the starters like Decidueye and Cineroar. Those are coming back because they've already been Weagle. And then uh, eligible in Series 6, you can see it right here. So all Pokemon that were eligible in Series 5, so you're still able to use some of the legendaries like Cobalion and Terrakion, but you're not going to be able to use Venusaur, Gyarados, Porygon 2, let's see if I can read it from over here, uh, Tyranitar, Torkoal, not Torkoal, Hippowdon, uh, Hippowdon must have been really, really popular in uh, singles, Magnezone, Togekiss, Exedril, Whimsicott, Incineroar, Mimikyu, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Indy, Dragable. That's a lot more than 10. Holy moly. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, that's actually just crazy. That's crazy. You're actually not allowed to use 16 most popular Pokemon. I don't know why Hippowdon's on there. I actually think they just kind of tacked Hippowdon on there because Hippowdon's not used in VGC, but they, they probably wanted to make it so you had to use like Gigalith if you wanted to set sand because Hippowdon is busted. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that completely changes the game. What does that actually mean? Because uh, even if you take out those Pokemon, uh, you may be thinking like, that's a we're taking out all these Pokemon. I'm just going to use X Pokemon because X Pokemon's still good. Well, hold your horses there because X Pokemon may still be good. Like, Alakazam might still be a good Pokemon, but Alakazam's not good without Indie D, right? Or, you know, like, there's a lot of Pokemon that could still be really, really good, but what if they're only really, really good because they beat a Pokemon that's on this list or check a meta that's on this list? So we're going to have to completely rework how we play the game and build brand new teams from the ground up. One thing that I think is going to be really important is that we have sun going away and we have most of sand going away. So I think rain is actually going to be super, super nice. We also have uh, the most popular forms of redirection in like Togekiss going away. And also any format without priority Tailwind Whimsicott, that's going to be a fun format. So we're seeing some popular fake outers going away. Um, I guess I also said like Rillaboom and uh, Incineroar and Indie D. So also like we're using Psychic Trains, we're using Dragapult, we're using some of the most popular fake out users. I think overall this is gonna be a super, super fun format, and I challenge you guys in the comments below to let me know what you guys think of the format and also what Pokemon you're most excited to see used. What we're actually going to do right now is we're going to go into my boxes just for a second. And also, we're going to be streaming uh, some pe some team building for this format on my stream at twitch.tv slash that's plus one. Probably at 7 or 8 in the morning. I'm currently recording this at 1 in the morning. And ignore that team that we just had. This was supposed to be what we're going to be streaming with. Actually, if you want to see this team, we're still going to be streaming with it. So stop by the stream and check this team out. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about some Pokemon. Uh, let's just go right off the start of my boxes and just kind of talk about some Pokemon. And be like, man, this Pokemon could be good because, you know, XYZ Pokemon doesn't exist in the meta. I think, first of all, the Pokemon's going to be probably the best Pokemon is Dracovish. Um, Dracovish is super checked by like redirection it can get outsped if your opponent sets tailwinds uh there's a lot of fake out users over there. there's a lot of intimidators there's a lot of 
Trick Room-esque stuff over there, and Dracovish just kind of... Dracovish was good against all that stuff. Dracovish was still usable in a meta that had all that stuff, but Dracovish still just thrives. So I think this is going to be the meta of Dracovish. That's personally my opinion, and it's very easy to build around Dracovish, so we're going to see a lot more aggressive action. I think another Pokemon that's going to be super, super good is Charizard. Charizard's pseudo-bad matchups uh, were other Sun teams where they could go Venus or Sleep Powder. We started to see at the end of the Players' Cup a lot of like Lumberry or Safety Goggles Charizards to block that. Also, Charizard can kind of struggle against sand and kind of struggle versus let's see dragapult which all those are on the list as well uh also charizard can kind of struggle versus redirection like if they leave with their you know big mon that can do with the charizard and a redirection toe kiss uh you know they can just follow me and kind of waste your zard in the first turn so like uh, i expect to see a lot of charizard a lot of dracovish also those two kind of things check each other in certain different ways so i expect to see a lot of them still uh, very very popular picks uh, hopefully we might be able to see a little bit of Snorlax. You know, actually, if we do see like Dracovish and Charizard, also let me let me just pull up something so I can always know what Pokemon are on this list, right? Give me one sec. I have like the list right here too. Yeah, the list again for those guys that are uh, trying to remember is Venusaur, Gyarados, Porygon two, Tyranitar, Torkoal. I'm so sorry, Torkoal. Uh, Hippowda, Magnezone, Togekiss, Exeter, Whimsicott, Incineroar, Mimikyu, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Entity, Dragapult. So like Mimikyu going down, that's uh, good for. You know, that makes teams a lot easier to play against, right? Mimikyu, the reason why Mimikyu is good is because not... It's not just because of the disguise. It's the disguise helps it set an easier trick room. Like, Porygon 2 is super bulky. Uh, I'm surprised to see Porygon 2 on here and not Dusclops, actually. So, like, we're probably going to see a lot more Dusclops. Uh, Cinderace is also banned. That's kind of nice. Um, another Pokemon that we might actually see since Torkoal's banned, we might actually see a little bit of Ninetales. I think that could be super nice to see some Ninetales action. Who knows? We might even be able to see some Wigglytuff because we're probably going to see a lot more Arcanine now that Incineroar is gone. You're starting to see how the meta completely changes, uh, you know, once those things don't really exist anymore. Another Pokemon that might actually see play is uh, Inteleon and probably like a Sniper Inteleon. Uh, that was already starting to see play. I do think if we're kind of, if you're looking for teams that are going to be good in this format uh, and you want to take like, a look at teams you might be able to build around you might want to actually take a look at like season one teams uh from earlier on in the format like january or you might even want to take a look at teams right before the isle of armor released right around the time that the hidden ability starters got released so uh you know historically we were running like pelipper ludicolo inteleon redirection with like bisharp all those pokemon are still in the meta and they're still really good and the good thing about that team is it's so aggressive it pretty much plays a one-player game. So you can check out some of our older teams right around the release of Isle of Armor. So kind of that, uh, you know, April, May, June area. Uh, those teams are all going to be super nice. I think that the fact that also, like, we're losing Dragapult and Whimsicott, we're going to be losing a lot of the... And Mimikyu, we're losing the three strongest beat-up users in the format, too. So even though we're still keeping, like, Tarakion, uh, we're still keeping, like, Verizion, and, uh, you know, we're still keeping, like, Lucario, for example, for beat-up... They don't really have any good, like, Pokemon to use beat up on. So, reality, like like I was talking about, like, the meta is going to completely be different. Uh, I think Sylvia might see a little bit more play, uh, just because we're losing a lot of the big steel types that can take it out. We're losing the Magnezones, uh, we're losing the uh, Exodrills, we're losing the Cinderaces that usually pack the max steel spikes. Uh, I also think that this is, like, a little bit of a side note. I think this is very healthy for the singles format. And in singles, this is going to be probably really, really fun to play. So, probably going to play a lot of singles this format as well. Let's keep going. Let's talk about some other Pokemon that might actually end up seeing play because all these Pokemon are banned. Um, Alcremi teams might see play. I think Lapras was on the list, right? Ooh, they didn't ban Lapras. Yeah, everyone's just going to play Lapras. Probably every single person's left a comment on YouTube. They're like, that's it. Everyone's just going to play Lapras because they kind of they kind of uh, banned all the Pokemon that could beat the Lapras. So we might have to be... You know, but also that completely changes the meta, right? If everyone's going to be playing Lapras... Well, then we're just going to play Choice Band Sock. You know what I mean? So there's so many different things that can be done. I'm also surprised that uh, Galarian Darmanitan is not on that list. So Galarian Darmanitan, very popular pick. I would not be surprised to see Galarian Darmanitan. I also wouldn't be surprised to see more Corviknight. Corviknight and Lapras are both really, really good. We're personally going to be using a lot of Butterfree because, again, because Togas is banned, Redirection is going to be super, super premium. And so you're going to want to get any amount of Redirection you can. Uh, let's see, who else is gonna be good? I guess, uh, Pinkurchin and Alolan Raichu, you know, any form of terrain, uh, they don't really have the competition anymore. If there's no Entity and there's no Rillaboom, right, you have the right of way to go with, like, Pinkurchin and Alolan Raichu. What are they gonna do? Misty Swords wheezing you? They can't take away the terrain. Your Rising Voltage is gonna do that really, really big damage, so we're probably gonna see a lot more Rising Voltage teams. 
let's see what else we can do. We're probably going to see a ton more Clefairy now that Togekiss is gone. Uh, I think we're probably going to see a lot of Togetic as well. Uh, they're just going to scramble for new follow me. So we might even see a lot more Amoongus. And if we see a lot more Amoongus and Butterfreeze, that would then uh, also increase the use of safety goggles. If you know your opponent's using safety goggles, there's a way to play. There's ways to play around that as well. So that's what I'm, that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like there's always so many different things that you can kind of gauge from a format knowing like all right cool these pokemon are leaving it affects more than just that pokemon leaving and even more than just the one or two pokemon kind of involved in that matchup uh you know it completely trickles down and changes everything about the format when you take off the upper crust i think grim style has always been good and if i actually if i were to play a serious team at all for any sort of real thing, I'd be playing Grimmsnarl every single game. I think Grimmsnarl actually is like an S tier pick in any team, uh, because just having a Grimmsnarl in your uh, in your team says your opponent cannot win on the first two turns. You cannot. You have to actually play like a three to four to five, even maybe longer game, because there is no way to go through screens while also avoiding a Thunder Wave, right? And also avoiding a potential fake out. Or like a trick eject button. There's so many things Grimstrom actually brings to the table while also having a stab foul play and actually being a dark type, so being unaffected by our opponent's prankster. Grimstrom and it could like G Max too and go for snooze. Like I think Grimstrom far and away is one of the best Pokemon ever created, and I just I would play with it every single every single game. But like I gotta I gotta make other content to spice it up. So let's see what else is gonna be good. Um, no Dragapult, so like you don't really need to bring a lot of the things that like respect Dragapults and check Dragapults. Like we don't have to even respect that anymore. So the whole dynamic of speed tiering is going to be like put on its head. Like a lot of those, a lot of the EV spreads that you're used to using on your Pokemon that can like, cool, this outspeeds Pult if I'm at plus one. Doesn't need to anymore. It completely changes the EV spreads, the good Pokemon. Like every single thing about Pokemon is going to change um, just because these Pokemon uh, are legal and some are legal and some aren't. I think we're probably going to see a lot more Kunk Helder. Uh, let's, let's look at that list again. So, like, like Kunk Helder. Uh, I, I also think, like, Duraludon is still going to be good. There is a lot of redirection, like, going away. But Duraludon still a really good check. And a lot of those Pokemon in that list were ones that checked the Duraludon. Probably, like, a lot of Duraludon, which means, uh, you know... Well, not, maybe not, it doesn't mean it, but, like, Duraludons, Kunk Helders, Dust Cops. Like I said, going back and checking out teams from, like, May and, you know, even March, for example... You know, like, Lapras Dusclops was huge. And a lot of those Pokemon, like, avoided the list. Like, there was a, like, Conkeldurr, Lapras, Dusclops, a Redirection user, which can be literally anything. It could even technically be, like, an Amoongus now and give yourself a better matchup there because that goes well in the Trick Room and pairs well with the Lapras. So, like, maybe you're going to start to see a lot more of those teams. And if you start to see a lot more of that, it'll start to see a lot more, like, safety goggles slash brick break stuff. And I could be talking about this stuff all day, which we are going to be doing at Twitch TV slash That's Plus One after I get a little bit of sleep. But let's see, what else is going to be good? Let's talk about some Isle of Armor Pokemon. Uh, I do think that Azumarill definitely has potential here. Azumarill definitely has potential here uh, because the meta is going to slow down a lot. Uh, half the reason all those Pokemon were good is because they were a little bit faster. And uh, Azumarill definitely can play around that stuff. Let's see. Ooh, I would like to use Drift Bloom and Binkurchin. Why haven't I thought about that? That sounds really good. Hmm... Gigalith is going to see some play, I'm sure. Gigalith Stoutland, Gigalith Lycanroc. Uh, people are still going to try and play Sand, and I'm going to do it. I think Gigalith is still really, really good. Uh, we're also probably going to see a lot more like Rhyperior. Like I said, it makes sense. Go back to what makes sense. There's no more Indity or Tokus free direction, uh, but you could still go like Amoongus, Hatterene, Rhyperior, like Kunk Helder, like a huge hard trick room and get a bunch of stuff done. We might also see, like, other weathers, like, you know, like, Alolan Ninetales start seeing a lot more play. You actually never even know. Um, just because, or we might start seeing, like, Lilligant with, like, uh, I don't know, like, Ninetales or something. I, like, I think, think that could be really, like, uh, you know, Kanto Ninetales. Let's see, a lot of these Pokemon are on the list. Ooh, is it Mamoswine time? Let's look at the list again. The list, again, is Venusaur, Gone. Gyarados, gone. Porygon, gone. Titar, Torkoal, Hippowdon, Magnezone. These are all Pokemon like Check the Hippowdon, going to Incineroar, Mimikyu, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Dragapult. Those are all things that like kind of check the, Magnus uh, the, the, the Mamoswine. It might be Mamoswine time. Who actually knows? Like, And also, like, if you actually put the time in to make a really, really good team right now, because you have like a week and a half until the new format comes out, you can be the person that makes the meta. That's the best thing about, you know, Pokemon. The best thing about, like, knowing this stuff early. You can be the person that decides what people use if you win with it early enough. I think that's so important and so much, so fun. Like, if you make a team that gets ranked one that features Mamoswine in a super cool way, 
you create like the illusion that Mammoth Swan's like this cool real thing and you like people will be like counter teaming it you'll be known as the Mammoth Swan guy someone should do it definitely definitely and when someone hits rank one with Mammoth Swan don't say I didn't call it let's see what else we got um Falling's always busted a lot less intimidators now because Incinero is gone but uh you know we'll see I think Pelipper is going to still be absolutely busted Pelipper always busted this is another core we were going to be working with uh with Rapidash that's another thing from the day I still think that like Hatterene's still gonna be really good um Weezing yeah Weezing Dragapult neutered hmm Talonflame still legal it's not bad Talonflame not bad uh you could probably still get away with some of the anger point teams those are probably actually a lot better now there's a lot less redirection there's a lot of less of everything so you go like uh with an anger point turtles paired with like a frost lass Safety Goggles with Frost Loss or something, I think that might actually be like really, really good. Or Anger Point Crocodile paired with an ang with a, uh, you yeah, know, you get the idea. It procs the Anger Point, gives you max attack, and just one shot everything. I think I could actually see a lot more play. Sharpedo's legal. Sharpedo's not bad. Marowak's still around. That's a new Trick Room mod that actually helps people out a lot. Let's see. I I'm just so sad. I'm so sad that Torkoal's going away. Our boy Torkoal. Uh, Scizor's actually going to see a lot more play, I think. Because sun is going away. But uh, yeah. Let me know what you guys think is going to be the meta. Let me know what Pokemon you're excited to see leave. Let me know what new Pokemon you're excited to use. Because they're not being checked by such oppressive picks anymore. Let me know everything uh, and your thoughts about this new format in the comments below. I'm going to read and answer every single one of them. Like I said, we're also going to be streaming at twitch.tv slash shots plus one. So if you have any uh, you know, questions or things you might want to ask or things you want to learn, or you want to see this team using Jigglypuff that's actually like super, super busted because Jigglypuff's way better than most people think, uh, definitely stop by the stream. Let me know what your thoughts are. And other than that, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.